But as far as like Cobra, he said that they wasn't inferior to the people or the buildings of Timbuktu. I'm like, damn, you got a hundred thousand people that live in Timbuktu. That's fucking significant. Why nobody point that out? And this place is only like 12 miles away from it. But anyway, that's what he mentioned. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and and like I said, the, the various uh, Hasa city states. Now, this is what I found interesting about the Hasa people. I first, first, first read about them in 2017 when I was going through various chapters of this book, The Origins of an Islamic State, and I documented those fucking chapters. You know what I'm saying? I did vlogs about them chapters. I still got to get back to the book and finish it. I, I stopped for a reason. But it was one chapter called The Conquest of al Barint, which is really the conquest of Eastern uh arabia right it was two places in particular that was mentioned al katit and al hasa a l hyphen h a s a now as far as like my method of research whenever i read a book or something like that it don't matter if it's a name or a technical word you know what i'm saying describing a thing or whatnot if I don't know what the word or the name, if I don't know what the word means, or I don't know too much about the name of the person mentioned, I always make a separate list and I go look those up in, in addition just so I can fully understand what I'm reading. One of the names was a guy named Kishra. So when I researched him, right, I put him in the search engine or whatnot, you know, an article called The Legend of Kishra came up. Now, Kishra is not only a name, but it's also a title in Iran. You know, it means king or whatnot. But when the legend of Kishra came up, they was talking about, like, how these people left Arabia and went into Africa and traveled as far as Nigeria. As far as, like, the Bornu Emirates set up in 1954, they get a lot of their, uh, like, their history is based on this guy Kishra. Only thing is, as far as this article, the legend of Kishra, you know, they had, like, three different main theories that he could have came from either Egypt or he could have came from Baghdad, or he was a Persian king. But I'm thinking when I was, and I documented all of this shit four years ago. I, I mentioned my personal opinion about this, but I'm gonna mention it again because it's relevant. I'm reading this. I'm like, wait a minute, Kishra. This guy Kishra was mentioned in that very chapter, the conquest of Al Bahrain, coming from Al Hasa in particular. He was not an Islamist. He he, he didn't want to convert. But he was not a Christian either. He was a, a, a polytheist, right? Now, as far as like this whole region of Al Bahrain, because even though he, you know, I mentioned Al Khatit, Khatit and Al Hasa, it was really just the whole fucking region because they ended up collecting 80,000 80, 80, diners, right? Now, that pretty much represented the population that did not want to convert. If you did not want to convert, you had to pay taxes. So, 80,000 diners that was brought back to Muhammad. This is, by the way, this is the 629, by the way. Either you converted and you paid them taxes or you left. Now, I'm like, wait a minute. This guy, Kishra, that's mentioned in this chapter, he had two fights with the factions of under Muhammad. The first one, they won. The, the second one, they lost. And so, because they didn't want to pay taxes, they, that's when they ended up leaving. I'm like, Al Hassa. Because within that article called Legend of Kishra, the the original hometown of this guy Kishra is called Bimin Kishra. But that also translates to place or home of Kishra. So I'm like, Al Hasa, A-L hyphen H-A-S-A. -A. And then the Hasa people of Nigeria and a little bit of Niger, you know, they kind of spread out. So a lot of them today is 80 million plus of them, culturally speaking, you know, ethnically speaking. I'm like... That's where they come from, Al Hasa. Nobody made that point. Even in this fucking article, Legend of Kishra, they named all these other places a Persian king or Baghdad or Egypt. I'm like, and this book right here, the, the Origin of the Islamic State, which is one of the oldest Islamic sources. The book was written 100 years after the life of Muhammad, then came out 100 years after that point. So that's like one of the oldest sources. I'm like, in this fucking book, you know what I'm saying, not to get my Bill O'Reilly on when he interviewed. Cameron and Dame Dad, and he was like, you know, it says it right here, purple haze. That's how I feel about this shit. I'm like, right here in this book, the origins of Islam of an Islamic state is right there. The chapter, conquest of Al Bahrain. The town is ca called Al Hasa. Now, if you think about it, eighty thousand people paying diners because they didn't want to convert. 
And Kishra himself, not being Christian or Islamic, he didn't take a whole vast population. He just took his clan or whatnot with him. And they left. Of course, you know, people are going to splinter out or whatnot. So I personally, personally believe that the ultimate antecedents of the Hasera people of Africa, Nigeria in particular, they all come from the fucking 7th century, 629, starting with that migration of Kishra. Nobody made that point. And I made that point four years ago, but just reading this stuff again, I'm like, this is what I believe. Now, as far as like the vast population, 80 million, that's easily explained in my opinion, because when we think about like the, what they call the Quatanites and the Adonites, right? That come from Yemen. You know, the Quatanites are supposed to be the pure Arabs. I mean, I could go deeper on that, but I'm gonna say that because I already spoke on that before. I don't want to veer too much. They're supposed to be like the original Arabs. The Adonites are a part of the bloodline, but those who have fused with other clans and tribes going northward. The Al As people left in what century was that? The first century, I believe. They left Yemen. Went as far as Syria eventually. <coughs> One of the, yeah, they went as far as Syria, but all these various tribes that they ended up fusing with throughout the motherfucking throughout the years and centuries, they are referred to as the Adonites. Now, I don't think the Al As people were that vast either. You know what I'm saying? Probably more than what. Probably more than those numbering, the, like the total number of the individuals that left with Kishra or his clan. I mean, they probably were much more uh, vast than those people. But I believe that Kishra and his groups that left are the people that came into uh, Nigeria. Like the early, the first place that they actually went to was Dara. Now that's at the northern tip of Nigeria. That's not too far from Katsina, by the way, or Katsina. See, it's different when Leo Africanus mentions Katsina. He spells it as C A S E. N A. When you look at it on the map, it's K A T S I N A. But that's in northern Nigeria. Dara is not too far from it. I think Dara is east of it. You're probably about 40, 30 miles. You know what I'm saying? When you look at it. Now, that's the earliest mention or finds of the Hasera people. This also goes back to what? The seventh fucking century before they spread to other places and then developed these city states later on. Like they got another legend besides the legend of Kishra, but it's called Bayajida. But see, Bayajida represent like they say, like <coughs> okay, Bayajida. All like Bayajida, it's it's a recent legend that's accepted in the early 19th century. But even when you just look at it, just as itself, you know what I'm saying. Bayajida still represent the antecedents of Kishra. So I'm like, I made another fucking discovery. How fucking awesome is that? But yeah, it is what it is. I ain't gonna, like I say, going back to Sunny Ali, he ended up dying in 1492. Now, he did have a shorty. 